What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Hypnotic Lady and the company I will be working with today is I See Hair. Jumping right in, they sent me some cute 3D mink lashes and then I also got a little handy dandy I See brochure tips and tricks on how to take care of my wig with discount code and then of course a wig cap and the bag this is their i see young hair collection this hair did come in 28 inches and it is straight now i see hair y'all gonna be mad at me but y'all i cut this hair before i filmed this video i tried to do like a curtain bang layer look and i cut the fuck out this hair so as you guys can see this is the hair this is their 28 inch straight hair i know it looks super short but i cut it so don't be alarmed um, the lace is definitely giving much HD. This is a 13 by 4 lace and this is 180 density. Jumping right in, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace. Those of you who've already subscribed to me know how I get down. We're going to start in the middle with an eyebrow razor, work our way down to the left, then work our way to the right. Once you get the excess lace cut off, I'm going to go in with some concealer or cream foundation to match my lace to my skin tone that part is optional you can use makeup or um, lace tint whichever one you prefer I always like to use makeup just so you know I can just wash it out when I'm through whereas I feel like with the lace tint after a while it starts to um, turn green or grayish or purplish and nobody wants that on their lace especially if you don't spend a nice little pretty penny on your wig you feel me sis but okay now i'm just cutting off any extra lace that i don't need that i didn't get with my eyebrow razor and before i do after i do that i'm going to make sure i like the placement of my lace and then we're going to blend everything out with some foundation powder in the shade i believe it's chestnut don't quote me until the picture pops up y'all i'm sorry i'm moving a little too fast but um once i cut all the excess lace off i'm going to take this kiss cream foundation yes in the color chestnut and I'm just going to pop that into the perimeter of my lace just to blend everything in. And it's already given scalp, baby. Okay. Once I get that done, we're going to go in with our even lace spray using two to three layers and our Songbird blow dryer in between. Once we get that done, we're going to get into styling. Taking my Eben Lace Spray in the black bottle, I am going to go ahead and start on the sides. I did go ahead and gel my edges back off camera, and I am not doing a bald cap method. I'm just going to gently lay the lace down um, using my fingers and a rat tail comb to adhere everything down using my blow dryer. Um, I have my blow dryer set on a low heat setting. And like I said, I am going in using my fingers and a rat tail comb in between. Don't press down too hard because you can get um, the adhesive spray stuck in the hair and it will just make it look gunky. You don't want that. Once I get my sides done, um, I go ahead and spray some more even spray on top. As you guys can see, I'm spraying it right on the edge of the lace. You kind of don't really want to get it in the hair at all because like I said it will start to stick and dry and that can pull the hair out and nobody wants that um, if you do happen to get any spray on the hair just comb it out real quick while you're blow drying it so it doesn't um, freeze in the hair and um, risk being pulled out once that side is done I'm going to do the other sorry y'all done got tongue tied but once this side is done I'm going to do the other side Follow the same steps until everything is laid down like so. Then we're going to start to pull out our baby hairs, mold that down, get ready to melt this lace and style. Okay, now I'm pulling out my sideburns. Um, if you see any excess hair or hair close to the ear, like where your frontal goes over your ear, make sure you pull that out. 
Um, you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about, but I don't know. I'm just real picky when it comes to like my baby hairs and stuff. I've been wanting to try to look as realistic as possible. So I just try to make sure everything is looking nice and neat and not like a helmet on my head. Now I'm going to run my hot comb over my sideburn sections just to get them nice and flat. Nobody wants a thick ass baby hair or just your frontal waving at you basically <laughs> nobody wants that so um here i am just plucking out any ex excess hair that i don't need and then going over my sideburns with a hot comb i'm also going to do the same thing to my edges i'm just going to pull out kind of um a deep side part looking type of thing i don't know what you want to call it but um my edges they're going to be uh kind of deep and go into the hairline on both sides these are my favorite kind of edges to do i fell in love with them within the past couple of months these are my goes too okay hot comb the rest of that hairline make sure everything is nice and flat and neat looking you don't want no damn wig on your head baby well you do want a wig on your head but you don't want no helmet on your head you feel me so once you hot comb that, hot comb them edges, get them nice and flat and pressed out. Have it looking like a nice little silk press, baby. And then we are going to cut those. And I'm going to use my Kaposi mini straightener. And I got this off of Amazon. I cut my baby hairs with a cuticle scissor. Sorry, cuticle scissors. And I cut at an angle or diagonal, whichever way you want to call it. But now I'm just pre-curling the hair upwards and this is so much easier than you just going in trying to get a swoop of your own with random shaping like this just pre-curls the hair for you so when you go to swoop it it's already pre-swooped so you ain't really got to do as much work and who don't want to do less work okay I'm, I'm, I'm here for working smarter and not harder so once that's done I'm going to go in with my lot of body setting foam and I'm just going to pump a little bit on the back of my hands and we're going to lay these baby hairs down like so sis now take your time this ain't gonna be perfect you're not gonna get it on the first try if you do get it on the first try you are a professional I'm not so you know you get a cookie <laughs> but as you guys can see I'm trying to perfect my little edges and um, comb them into the hairline to try to make it look as realistic as possible like I said take your time until you get it to way, to the way you like it, just keep going, okay? Because the edges can make or break the frontal. And you know, you don't want to be doing all that hard work of you muscling your legs, getting the hair done, styled, and then your baby hairs look a hot mess. So take your time. I'm using, um, like I said, my lot of body setting foam. And then I'm going over that with some eco style gel just for an extra hold. Once that's done, this is what the lace is looking like, and we're gonna tie that down with an elastic band. Next, I'm gonna take some of my argan oil, or my argan Moroccan oil, and I'm just going to put a nice little layer of that throughout the hair, um, just to give the hair some luster and shine and some body before I apply some heat to it. Um, I am gonna go in with my Remy wax stick and my hot comb, just to press out my hairline one last time. You wanna make sure everything's nice and flat, um, I do the perimeter of my hairline and down my parting and then I'm just going to hot comb everything back one last time before we get ready to seal the deal. Once I get through hot combing, I'm going to go in with my straightener and start styling and then that will complete the finished look. To style my hair, I'm going to take my Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium Straightener and I'm just going to lightly curl away from my face. Since I'm using a straightener and I have the harsh lines on the side, I'm not going to curl super, super tight. Just lightly drag my hair through the straightener and I'm just bumping the ends really. That's all I'm doing. Um, I sped this up just for the sake of the video because it took me forever, but you get the gist. You see what I'm doing. I'm just taking small slash medium sections and I am curling away from my face or just curling backwards, oh, but either way, it's away from my face, away from your face, <laughs> um, and just bump it a little bit. Don't go straight down for a, you know, a bone straight blunt cut. 
You just curve it at the end, hit it a little bit at the top, just to give it a little oomph. And then, um, like, yeah, really, that's it. Just keep curling till you get the body that you're looking for. And then we're going to take the band off, and then that will be the completed look. Last thing I like to do, I'm going to take my Revlon Color Stay in the shade Medium and I'm just going to pop that into my lace just to define my part a little bit better. And then I'm going to take my Clairol Root Spray, uh, well sorry, Root Dye Touch Up that I also got off of my Amazon. Um, and pop that in. This is a holy grail of mine. Love, love, love. And once that's done, that will be the completed look. Y'all get into it, get into it. Let me know what you ladies think. I'm in love with this hair. Again, this is Icy. This was their 28 inch hair. Like I said, I cut it. I'm so sorry. Um, but it did come in 180 density and it is 13 by four lace. Um, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you guys get a post notification for next time I drop. And be lucky, or I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye. Mwah.